Okay, so I've got my um, covers made, or at least the first half of my covers made. Now I'm working on the actual the pages. So what I've done is I've used um, Excel to create some lined pages. So I've, and I've printed on both sides. Um, the the margins aren't great. There's a bit of um, variance in there, but that will look fine once it's put together. And I've also done the same for a diary or planner. Now this page, I don't know why my printer just went a little bit crazy, so that's got lots of stains on it and this one's come out back, come out on the wonk, so I can't use this, so I'm going to reprint this page. But basically a planner page is a week per view on both sides with empty spaces to fill in the month and date. And the idea is that whatever way you fold these, you'll always have the weeks continuing on. So you've then got a full year's worth. So this is 27 um, pages, double-sided. So that's your 52 weeks plus a couple. So it's enough to cover you for a minute. So I'll reprint that and then get on with those. When I'm doing these, I'm going to combine um, three um, planner pages with one um, lined page. So you've got kind of an, um, a note-taking section in your diary. So I'm starting with the um, lined pages. So first things first, you've got a fold. And I did if you've got a flat surface, <laughs> that'll come in handy. This isn't particularly flat, but it should be fine. So I'm just going to go with a square fold across and make sure you crease down the line here. Now that obviously gives you four sides, so it's two pages, four sides. So I'm making what are called signatures. This is basically a bundle of pages put together. So for this notepad, I'm going to do five in a, bun in a signature, which gives me 10 pages. Okay, so I'm working my way through my pages of my, my books. I've already got my um, kind of multimedia journal sketch pad done. Um, and this has got pages of different types. So it's got some sugar paper and some um, cartridge paper and some watercolour paper and that kind of thing all bundled together, which is obviously going to need some trimming, but that's, cool. that's created a nice kind of multimedia planner book. So, my uh, multimedia journal, and then my planner with my diary pages here. So it's it's pretty much the the three um, um, things to print. So first is just a page of lines on both sides, and second is a week to view. So as long as you've got Monday through to the weekend across the page on both sides, it will work together. And I've just done a cover page with uh, lined paper on the back. So, so every six weeks or so, there's a, a couple of lined pages for notes and things. So for my notepad, I've got onto the next stage. So you make sure everything is as level as possible, and then mark out where your holes are going to be. And it's it's handy to keep it um, gripped like this until you're ready to start. That way the, all the, um, the folds kind of seat in neater. So now I'm working on the actual binding itself. So this is my address book page. So it's just kind of some lines with the alphabet down the side. I'm going to um, cut back a ladder style separation on those. So I'm doing a variation on um, Coptic stitch, I believe it's called. Okay, so I'm going to um, do the other side of these covers now. So what I did was when I finished my binding, I measured across and then added 5mm. Um, 
so that each one's got a decent amount of width for the spine plus enough to come round the width of the covers. These four done. Stick them over there. Out the way. So what I've done, the same kind of thing as last time, is I've covered the spine part in tape just to stop the resin from binding to it and left um, about two centimetres width that I can build into the cover itself so it's got some strength to it. So these still need to have some of these bubbles worked out and a, a good sanding for the final coat. So this is going to basically make a cover for the book. So I'm layering up my um, coloured piece behind the leather and then a piece of um, oak veneer in front with a decent layer of resin in between just to hold everything together and it's going to go into um, a book again and get pressed as it did the first time around but there's a few layers this time so it doesn't need as much pressing this time around at least that's the plan Okay, so I'm on to the next processes with these. I've cut them all to the right size, which means they are um, five mil bigger on three sides than the um, the, the pages. At least for the pages, I've got a couple to trim. But. So first, before I put on the final resin finish, I want to tidy up the resin on the front here. I think it looks. It's easier to see on the green one where I put the resin on as I was doing the layers it's kind of bubbled up and caught around the leaves here so I need to trim that back just so that it's not visible in the final thing so I've got just a box to raise things up into kind of eye level and a kind of drilling bit on my dremel my non dremel so I'm just going to Turn that on and just gently go around all the leaves to make sure that the resin goes back to the actual outline of the leaf so I don't have this kind of floating edge so that when I put the, the next or the, the final layer of finish on it's all going to sit neatly hopefully. Okay so this is the last of my resin. It's had a good three minute stir. Lots of bubbles but I'm not too concerned because I'm only doing a thin layer this time around. So, what I've got is each of my covers are raised up slightly onto some um, DVD cases. So it just stops them from sticking to the surface. Shouldn't be a problem because all surfaces are covered in plastic, but just in case. Um, on the inside I've masked off a border so I can actually stick the um, cover pages onto the bare wood rather than onto the resin. I also cover the leather here. I'm not sure how well that's going to hold up but we shall see. So I just want to twitch things around slightly because I want a little more space. I don't want my um, scoss or cover to get too close to anything. Right so I'm going to start by just coming around this edge here because I want a neat edge that's visible around the edge of the, the, um, the paper block. Obviously not too thick, just enough to kind of I've <laughs> got a spider right in the middle there. That's not great. So I'm going to have to sand that back quite considerably to get rid of that. Okay, so I was intending to have this finished for this video, but it's not going to happen now. I've got to wait for the rest of my, my, my resin to come. That's not due until 20-something um, this month. So yeah, this is as far as I can go at this point. Disappointing. What I need to do now, as far as possible, 
is trim up my um, multimedia journal and address book and I'm going to trim, um, I'm going to step trim this so you can actually kind of index it. And these two are done, so notepad and planner. I'm probably going to stick a, um, another sheet of paper along the front to give it a fly leaf, which will just give it some separation from the covers. Um, I can't do any more on this because he's unfinished. So um, I'll give you a, um, an update on these um, at the end of the month when I do the whole the whole project. So yeah, that's as much as I can do at this point. So um, I'll see you next week for some more chocolates. <laughs>